only a couple days away and festivities have started for many and will continue to do so up until that spooky Tuesday night. As for parents and guardians, keeping their children safe is a top priority. Now to your sides, Gabby Sartori spent the day talking to authorities here in the East about what to look out for ahead of trick or treating. Halloween is one of the most anticipated holidays of the year and with it creeping around the corner, safety is a main priority. Health and law enforcement want to ensure everyone is trick or treating and having fun while most importantly staying safe. Lieutenant Donald McGinnis of Newburn says parents can take action before their children leave the house. They need to make sure their child is visible and in groups while trick or treating. One of the things that um, they can do first and foremost is make sure that they have some kind of reflective uh, gear on their child's costume. Um, if, if you could uh, provide a light for your child, make sure you uh, give them a light and always, uh, always go trick or treating with your younger kids or, you know, um, kids could go trick or treating older kids uh, in a group and always have, you know, an adult uh, there to watch over your kids. Ellen Walston of ECU Health explains that trick or treaters without a parent present should take safety precautions seriously as well. Rules such as how to navigate crosswalks are key to follow, especially as the night gets darker. One thing that's important for the middle schoolers and the young children as well, making eye contact with the driver. If you're at the crosswalk, if you're on a sidewalk getting ready to cross, please make sure that you're trying to make eye contact with the driver so they can see you. And it's night and dark, so a lot of times that is difficult. That's where I'm encouraging drivers to be very cautious and to please slow down in neighborhoods. Among the many safety tips from health and law enforcement, U.S. Cellular offers their safety tips as well. Officials say that smartphones are a useful tool and have built-in safety features such as flashlights, easy access numbers, and real-time location sharing. For more safety tips and Halloween events near you, you can head to our website at WNCT.com. In Greenville, Gabby Sartori, 9 on your side.